If you've ever wanted to own a Starship booster, I hear one's leaving Massey's one piece at a time. Slightly used. You're going to have to fight the uh, scrappers for it, though. Hey, over at the launch pad area, kicking it off, that's Pad 2's ship QD, quick disconnect. Not QT. It's not cute. It is a QD arm, quick disconnect arm, that needs to go up and be mounted on the tower. Oh, look at that nice, nice shot from Colleen there. The clarity suddenly, like, I blinked and my eyes got clear because it went from a 24-7 camera that's been destroyed by the environment out there for some number of years to Colleen's nice camera here that has uh, much better clarity and resolution. In any event, going to be mounted up on Tower 2 to swing over and attach to the ship to allow propellants to be loaded while it's on top of the booster. Here we go over at Masties. You can actually see that part that came over from the factory being attached to the top of the booster there with the crane. A couple lifts up as well, but looks like they've got it in and stabilized booster 18. Again, the bottom of that thing is folded open. You can't see it from this angle, but there is a huge gaping multi-story hole in the bottom of that thing. And uh, here's what they were doing. They stabilized it, and then they got up there on the lifts, and they cut around the entire circumference, and they lowered down the top. That's the methane tank. Cut down. Wow. That's a forceful thing to say. Cut down in its prime. Uh, just, I guess they were both removing it from the top, and it looks like they were cutting pieces off of it. Just getting it scrapped. The wind's been tough out there. But now we've got a different type of spreader here that is being attached to the top of the remaining oxygen tankage area. They're going to be taking that down as well. More to come later in the video. Back to the launch pads. Here is that QD arm. Q. D, the letter Q, the letter D, being lifted up at pad two. Ah, oh, look at Hopper. Hopper's in the foreground there. Nice. Hopper continues to watch. No longer checking papers. Hopper's like uh, just retired watching what's going on there. Wow, that elevator going up and down is serious. But here you can see the quick disconnect arm getting hooked up to the appropriate attach points on the tower, that big pivot point. Oh, here's a time lapse from another angle. That big crane moving it all the way up. Again, uh, you have two parts of your Starship Super Heavy. It's right there in the name. You'd think it might be three parts, but there's not a Starship and then a Super part, then a Heavy part. It's the Starship part, then it's the Super. Y'all get it. Uh, super Heavy part. But the Starship sitting on top, the booster doesn't pump any propellants into the Starship, right? It's not like you fill the booster, and then when the booster's full, it keeps filling up into the Starship. They're two separate vehicles, two separate sets of tankage. So this arm right here is uh, halfway-ish measure. Come on, whatever. Um, Halfway-ish up the tower, and it swings over and connects to the quick disconnect areas on the ship itself to allow propellants to be loaded onto the ship and sometimes loaded off of the ship. Here we've got some uh, parts moving around in the background. Was that Booster 17, I think? Maybe there's a Booster 17 part that just rolled out there. And a worker on a scooter in time-lapse. Nice. Got some fantastic looking tile work on Ship 40's nose cone. Those look a lot like my pajama pants. Not kidding, we took a picture of the tiles on a starship and we made them into meme pajama pants. I'd say link in the description, but I won't I won't subject you to that. There's Ship 42 and Ship 45 nose cones there as well. We check on, on these on occasion. Not a lot of overtly visible changes here happening right now. But you don't know unless you check in. So we'll toss them in the video so y'all can see it. We've got uh, ship 43, ship 46 there, the smooth-brained nose cones. <laughs> like it says, it's unclear which is which. Aerodynamics just, just rolls off, just right off the top of the nice smooth nose cone there. Of course, those are still in the, the structural phases. Oh, look at that. Nice, the big shackles and pins. They're stabilizing it, or they've lifted it up there, and they're just holding it in position while they work on the rest of it. Here is another Booster 17 section coming out. There's that spur. Is that a... See, I always mess it up. It's, I want to say Whiffle, but I don't think it's Whiffle. I think it's Whipple, if I'm not mistaken. Help me out, crane operators down below. I'm pretty sure that's what that thing's called. What do we have here? Booster 17 section knocked over. Wow, we're getting back to our Starbase roots. <laughs> we're just cutting those things up and bumping into them with something to, to fold them together. Nice. Ah, over on the right-hand side, lower part of your screen, right above the watermark there. Oh, well, it became obvious all of a sudden. I was thinking I might have to point it out. 
but there was some venting happening. From another part of the road, oh, look at this. Do we have some nil guy in the foreground there? And then booster 18 in the background? Nice. It's a good catch, Caesar. The wildlife refuge uh, foreground there, those, what do you say, Indian antelope. I think we did a big discussion about that last time. Uh, a lot of y'all with a lot of cool information down in the comments. I always love reading what everybody else says. Like, I, I can't say everything during the video, and somebody always, like, chimes in with more additional information down below. But in any event, I mean... <laughs> Good grief. It's it's got a like a bend to it. I'm not surprised that it has a bend to it. Are those holes? Wow. Caesar, good catch. I'm going to need to... That's, it looked like we had some COPVs there. Uh, it sort of blew away from the places that we can get and take pictures of. But uh, anyways... They keep taking that apart. SpaceX's post seems to seems to imply that they're pretty confident they know what went on there. It's not a, a thing that can't be fixed. Here's that nail guy again. Just sort of hanging out. Man, those things look weird. They're big, too. They're not small little spindly antelope that, like, prance across the plains or anything like that. Those things are chunky. So, anyways. Always good to uh, have Caesar catch some of the nature out at Starbase. Here's that Pad 2 ship cutie arm in place up on the tower. Ah, now see, now I want to know what star that is. You know, it's, it's got a star in frame, and I feel like I should be able to name the star, like, from that position looking... Ah, that would probably be mostly... Would it be south? I'd have to go back and look. Anyway, anybody know how to name that star? I can't do it on the fly. I'm not that much of an astronomer. Astronomator, whatever. Oh, that's the moon. Nice. You know, I mean, it, it's so just right there. You'd almost think that that was like a, a sign or something connected to the tower, but it's the actual moon in the background. It's going to be nuts when starships are ending up on the moon. There's a ship header tank. You can tell it is because the way that it is, uh, it looks a little weird, but you can see the sort of bracing skirt that attaches to the nose cone and the round tank that fits up to the note, like the little pointy part of the nose cone to hold the propellant. Here we've got more work. That looks like the door of the Mega Bay 2 in the background. And that was a test tank, ship 39.1, thinking it's on. Yep, there it goes. Da -da 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 -da. Exits, takes a right onto Highway 4, headed west into Brownsville. From our river lot there. Oof, <laughs> the frame is a little little blurry there. You know, I'm, I'm glad we have the picture of this, but this is not exactly a high... This is like, hey, it's dark. You can technically see that things are happening. Uh, don't expect that to win any Pulitzers. I, don't, do they, do they, I think that's for writing. Don't expect that to win any videography con awards. Whatever. Anyways, there's Booster 19 section moving into Mega Bay 1. In the foreground here, all the work is... Uh, we're looking right up that transfer aisle of the Giga Bay. Still really cool. They're working on that. Here we're cutting the locks. Yeah, there you go. And there reveals the part that has... Wow, that was a lot of birds. That is an awful lot of birds. That Falcon 9 size thing? It's like a, like a nesting doll sort of thing. That stick in the middle is uh, the transfer tube that moves uh, methane down from the top down towards the engines, and it's roughly, it's a little bit smaller than a Falcon 9, if I remember SpaceX's pose correctly. It's like the rocket-sized booster you see flying on a regular basis out of the Cape, sometimes at Vandenberg. You don't really see them out of Vandenberg because it's foggy, but whatever. Um, that is how big that thing is, and then Starship to scale. Look, yeah, okay, it's a beam coming to the mega, you're fine. Like, it's a, giga it's a giga beam being delivered. Congratulations. Would you like me to talk about that at length? There's a lot of beams. There's, there are many others like them, and they're mostly all the same. Um, none of them are yours. They're all SpaceX's. Here we're going to go all the way up Highway 4 down to the end of the road and look at that air separation site. Still a lot of preparations on the foundations and stuff. There's those concrete forms we saw going, carrying some rebar, it looks like. It's got an interesting... they got bends at the end. The rebar professionals in the chat will tell me why those are bent on the end. I'm curious. Yeah, hey, there's the aerostat in the upper right-hand corner. Funny how that's what catches your eye. It's like, what a nice clear sky. All this activity in the foreground, all this complication. Look at that guy's cool hat, right? And then uh, there's a, there's an aerostat there in the background. A little wide shot of the launch site from this angle. That's pad 1 on the left-hand side, pad 2 on the right-hand side. 
and we we're going to zoom in on them, I guess. Uh, here, I don't think those chopsticks aren't the same length, are they? No, they're not. That's still one shorty chopstick and one longer chopstick. See, okay, the chopstick that's closer to you, that's hooked up to the crane, and they got all this, the weights and balances, the center of mass and stuff figured out. And what they're going to do is they're just going to lop off those big tubes, right? They're going to cut off the end of the chopsticks there so that the chopsticks can move a little bit more quickly. Oh, are we going to see this? Yeah, look at that. Now it's just, they cut it, and the crane's holding it. But it's shorter, so it's easier. It can be more quickly and more accurately moved. It doesn't have that big moment. Uh, I guess if you have inertia or momentum there, when it's longer and you get it moving, it's got that mass out on that lever arm, and it waggle a little bit. It takes a little bit more to accelerate, a little bit slower to come to a stop. And if they cut it down because they don't need that extra length, they can just do it more accurately and more quickly. Gonna check in. Yeah, there's Booster 18's remains, and you can see that Falcon 9 ish sized. Wow, look at that. It really is nuts. I wish we just need to put a Falcon 9 next to this so you can just get a grasp of the scale of Starship. There's Caesar getting some fantastic shots of that transfer tube. They're in the middle of the Starship. <laughs> Look, it's a, it's a rocket sized methane tank in the middle of the super rocket sized oxygen tank. Then the top of that there on the uh, the fancy spreader. Not the one, the, the big permanent tooling that came from the factory. I think that's the more adjustable one. Y'all tell me if I got that right or not. S39.1 joins the other test tanks over in the testing area of Massey's. A bunch of things we just check in with on a regular basis. Oh, there's air going into it. I really, it, a lot of times when you see that, that might be a sign that work is happening inside of it. Uh, interesting. I wonder why they would be inside of it, but in a confined space, enclosed space like that, you gotta, you gotta pump in some air for the folks that are working. I love the nighttime meeting here. Everybody looking. Hey, one at a time. Too many chiefs here. You guys' pants are a really interesting color. Just had to do a double take there. I'm almost positive that long pants and closed-toed shoes are a requirement for working with the rebar. I did a double take. Very confusing. Um... You know, I'd, I'd really like to know why the rebar have the, the corners on the end of them. Is that so they stick up out like they're suspended in the middle of the concrete? Or is it like a frame they put them on or whatever? There's a little shot of the Pad 1 shortened chopsticks. And a, we got a flag up there. Anyways, hey, folks, it's a holiday week over here in the States uh, celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow. I was going to say we'd keep this video a little shorter for you, but we, we didn't. It's 13 minutes. They're always about the same length. That's what we try to shoot for so you can keep up with what's going out at Starbase. Thank you all for hanging out with us. Have a good holiday, and we will see you nerds later.